What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Boogie the Nine and Eight coming as well as getting through the power of the internet. And of course, Desi's here Hi. holding the camera, and we are currently driving to an unknown destination, which I'm not going to put in the title because you have to figure it out. Because I've been told the project I'm about to participate in is a very secret project. Please don't pay attention to any of the road signs. I'm gonna have to blur them out, but let's see if you can guess where I'm headed. But we we have to go there to do a thing. And I don't think you're gonna get to see this thing for like another six months, but let's at least have fun while we're getting there. No road trip to the south is complete without a stop at a Bucky. So we gotta get in here and pee and get, get something to eat. Gotta eat. I always am fascinated by the arts that they have at Bucky's. These are actually really cool. They're expensive for what you get, but some of these, I don't know. I'm not a big fish guy, but I would, I would love to have some of these in my home. Here's where they make all the different sandwiches. And now they got a bunch of different stuff. They used to have chicken sandwiches. They were insane. But now they've got this club melt instead. And they got a three meat sandwich that's turkey, brisket, turkey, and sausage. I, I, I probably got to try that. They're also a weakness of mine, these beaver nuggets. I never tried like cinnamon or white cheddar or any of those, but the, the originals. Oh. Oh my God, the originals. This is the sandwich I got. It is $12. How much was your sandwich? Mine was $8.49. $8.49 for her club sandwich. $12 for my three meat sandwich. I, inflation or a Bucky? I don't know, Bucky's. We're poor out here. That one's not $12. Arby's has got sliders for a dollar. Okay, whatever, let's try it. They weren't lying though when they said three meats. Look at that brisket, sausage. Hopefully none of the spicy. What is your sandwich? I'll show the, the people. That's the club sandwich with the spicy mayo. Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. I think that's the mayo that used to be on the chicken sandwich. If it is, that's my new favorite sandwich. I really this is pretty good. This is really good. I didn't get napkins, so that's gonna be an issue. Someone's gonna have to. I will. This is really good. All right, Bucky's. That's worth sandwich. $8. This is not worth 12. I'm but gonna go grab napkins. The good news is I never finished these, so I'll have a second meal out of it. I, if you're getting two meals for twelve dollars, right? Who cares? Every time I travel near St. Louis, I have to stop in Uranus. I find that it's a lot of fun to spend a little time in Uranus, even though we mostly stay on the surface. We don't go deep in Uranus. But at some point, I really want to go deep in there to see what kind of freaks are in that sideshow museum. And of course, as you know, they pack fudge there in the general store. So if you want some fudge freshly packed, you can get it done in Uranus. I never did pay attention to this sign, but I do know some of this is real. End of Route 66, Petrified Forest, Uranus Number 2, Wigwam Hotel. I, I don't know, that might be offensive. Now here's a little zoological park photo op for you. You can stick your head through the... Oh, Desi, you're my favorite turd. What does that sign say? Do not read this sign under, under penalty, penalty of, of law. law. Oh, God, I'm on probation! Oh, by the way, there's someone missing their balls. If you uh, if you have their balls, they'd love if you'd return it to the Putt Pirates Mini Golf. The more balls in Uranus, the more fun for everyone. We've decided not to go in here today, but I'll tell you why. They advertise all of this stuff. It's mostly just posters and statues and stuff. And sideshows are a bit of a ripoff. This is not a ripoff. You only pay $5 to get in. It's well worth the $5, but. All right, we are in a completely different town now. And this is in the center of it. So those sluice of you who can figure out where we are, or even where we're going, this is, this is a pretty big clue for y'all. I can't believe what I'm seeing though. This is insane. I, that is a building. That is not a billboard. That is a literal building sharing Black History Month on the side of a building, building. Here's the other side of this thing. I just, I can't, I can't, I can't. Why, wow. Good morning, it's another day. We are currently at the Wright Brothers homes, the guys who invented flight. Turns out it's a Pokemon gym and Desi just put an airplane in it. So. That's the day we're having. Speaking of the Wright brothers, there is a memorial that shows their third prototype. Neat. Then there's whatever this tower is. I, did they just stick 5G in it? What, I, what the fuck? 
Looking at the other side of it, it's clearly bells hanging there. It's now exactly one o'clock and I was hoping they would go off. Clearly not. Whatever town we're in, this sucks! I also really like to see historic cemeteries for some reason. I don't know if it's offensive for me to be filming this or something like that, but I wanted to share it with you anyway because this is one of the coolest cemeteries I've ever seen. And I don't think that's a tombstone. I think that is a memorial, but wow, that is incredible. If that is for just one person, that would be insane. And I'm sorry to be disrespectful, but that is, that's just creepy. Here's a whole other city with a billboard. Here's a completely different town with a completely different art. And I'm not particularly sure why there's a giant AR here. It's not like we're in Arkansas. I don't know what building that is. There's something on top of it. It looks like a racetrack, but it's probably just 5G. Also here for some reason is a statue of Arnold Schwarzenegger. This art style seems so familiar to me. I don't know why, but it's very cool. Now out here in the middle of the country is a giant burger guy thing. Also, as a Stephen King fan, I had to come here. Also, if you've never seen the movie Shawshank Redemption, I don't know how you're a fan of me, but you really, anything Stephen King does is amazing. And this is one of the best movies made from any of his works. I wish it was tour season, but maybe I'll come back for April 1st when it starts. That is a giant chandelier hanging over the road in some mystery town. I also really like eating at rallies whenever we go to the East Coast. And I'll show you something cool about a rallies. They actually have AI computers taking your orders now. Welcome, what can I get you today? Hi, just one moment, please. Order whenever you're ready, I'm listening. Wow. Look, I know I'm not supposed to be eating food like this, but it's hard to eat healthy when traveling. And if you've never had a rallies french fry, I don't, they almost smell like waffle fries. And they taste, I don't know, how, how would you describe this taste? Definitely like A&W, like fish style. It, it tastes like, like it was fried with fish. It does almost. taste like it was fried in fish oil. It's yeah. excellent. It's very uh, good. Though I will tell you something weird happened to me today. We did share a soda. And I, as you guys know, I've been off of soda for a while, drinking only Diet Mountain Dew. Well, I took a sip of Diet Mountain Dew this morning and I passed out. So that's a thing that happens to me now. And for a while, and I put this in a video when I was down with Michaels, I took a sip of soda and I kind of like got faint, lightheaded and stuff. This is the first time I actually passed out from it. So that's a new thing to talk to the doctor about. I agree. That's why she's drinking the Coke and I'm drinking the ice water because I, clearly I shouldn't be drinking soda ever again, but especially while driving. Also, shout out to the Rally's Burger. It's cheap and it's filling and it's good but i'll tell you it's got the right ratios that burgers had when i was a kid with the, the vegetables and the lettuce and the meat and the this is still the right ratio i don't know what mcdonald's is doing but it doesn't taste like anything burger king whopper has some flavor especially because of the vegetables a good burger's got plenty of vegetables on it if you don't have vegetables on it you're not eating a burger you're just eating a sandwich also I've also noticed, by the way, if you're eating fast food, you got to use the apps. But some of the places that don't use the apps still give like physical coupons like this. And I'm actually really surprised at how good it is. Wings was on the podcast the other day complaining about how expensive fast food is. But that's only if you're not doing it right. Download the apps, visit the website, get the coupons, get the deals. I'm telling you, I feed two people for $8. At Arby's, we ate for $5 the other day. How how do you beat eating for $5 in this economy? Sorry, Caleb Hammer. Well, we are now in our hotel in the mystery city. I'm curious to see where you guys think I am. Now, there will be another vlog that will give you more clues. Uh, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Now, do me a favor. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, you are in, in a little secret. I'm getting paid to do this trip. It's kind of cool. A lot of people get like super mad for whatever reason. Like, boogie, you're broke. You're supposed, supposed to be traveling. What am I supposed to do? Sit in a chair forever for the rest of my life? It's nice to get out in the world and enjoy life. And I love sharing that with you. And as long as I'm getting paid to travel and I'm making a little money to do it, I'm going to jump at the opportunity every time. Every single time. And I'm glad to take you with me. As always, thank you very much. We love you very much. And we'll speak with you again soon. Thank you, Desi. Bye.